Hi, this is Eric Landrum from the Department of Psychological Science at Boise State University. And this is a new video on Microsoft Word and how to prepare a journal article reference list citation in 7th edition APA format. So on my YouTube page, there's been for years a 6th edition version and the journal article citation format has changed slightly. So I wanted to prepare a new video. So you see I've got kind of a blank screen up top here in Word, and then I've got a sample that I'm going to have to scroll here and show you of the beginning of a journal article citation. And I'm just going to show you uh, by typing it live for you, so to speak, um, how to prepare that. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So I'm going to need all the article, all the article authors. I'm sorry, I'm going to have to scroll a little bit back and forth because of the size of this image. So uh, I'm just going to go ahead and get going and do that. And there's lots of little pieces here. So let's see. The change that's been made is really not that great, but there is a change. And, you know, some of your instructors may be picky about it. So that's why I thought I want to spell, I want to spell Kelly's name correctly. see and so because of the changes i just want to make sure that you know that you have a video that shows it to you properly like i say when i get to it it's not going to be a big change it's an ampersand right before the last author i go back and jump to leslie d another Okay, and that is a 2020 publication. Let's just go back and double check and make sure I've got everybody named there. All right. I think I can stop scrolling for the most part. Of course, I'm going to have to come back and do my indentation and all that. But I just want to get all the text in there. I actually like typing my um, citations by hand like this rather than using a computer program because sometimes it just adds extra spaces. It puts it into uh, right justification or yeah, right justification when it shouldn't. And plus this way you just know it's going to be accurate because you know you've done the typing yourself. And so I know it's kind of old school to do it like that. And I, I know there are programs that can manage this for you. Okay. So psychology learning and teaching and i would actually stick with the actual specific title there if they're using an ampersand in their title uh don't put a and d stick with your exact title so that is the um, journal title i need the volume number it's volume 19 and here's the change in the sixth edition apa format we would have omitted the issue number in parentheses in the seventh edition APA format, we include the issue number in parentheses. So it looks like it's an issue one. I'm going to include the pages five to 20 period, and I'm going to include DOI. Oops, no space. And that is a very long string, and I'm going to type it accurately. 1177 slash. And because that's not a live image, I've actually grabbed a screenshot. I can't do a copy and paste. Seven, five, seven, two, five, seven, five, seven, nine, eight, six, nine, six, four. Right, so there's no period at the end of that, just like there is there. So I'm almost done here. So a couple things. I need to... Um, you put it in my hanging indent. There's a couple different ways you could do this. I just highlight, whoops, the whole reference, the entire reference, and then hit Control T on my keyboard in Microsoft Word for Windows. Control T will do that. Click out of that, and then come back and italicize the title of the journal and the volume, but not the issue. And there it is. There is my APA format, 7th edition, 
reference list entry for a journal article. Again, the difference is going to be uh, right here where you've included that issue number in citations. Journal article, journal article citations. Thanks for watching.